Ward Jr. is rude. Hey there, guys. My name is Double and On. Welcome to more Let's Play Animal Crossing. Oh, we've got some mail. Uh, yesterday we were tasked with. Hello? Read. Aww. My house is too small. But 1,181 points is. not shabby for the size of the house I have. Amber. Uh, more amber. Ooh, I can sell that. And a flying Pteranodon. Yep, I've got dub I've got a duplicate. Noise. Before I forget, I'm going to head down to. <laughs> Who is that? Well, I finished delivering Valentine's to all of you, but when will I start receiving some? Is that, uh, from. Um, from Pete? Maybe. Before I forget, I'm gonna head down to the beach. And, uh,. Yeah, we're gonna do some... We're gonna do that lighthouse thing, because it is after 6 p.m. And I think that's when the cutoff, the starting date was. Good evening, Anon. How's life, darling? Mine's very cold. Since the sun went down, it's completely frozen over, huh, darling? And I've had a little chit-chat. Did you need something for me, darling? Hey, isn't this new nail polish of mine the most fabulous color? I like it. Isn't it the best? It's pe This peach nail polish is my fave. It makes you look so beautiful, darling. Well, even more beautiful. That's so very astute of you to notice, Anon. Seems like you're not such a total loss, darling. <laughs> oh, I made her so happy. Look here, it's you. Looks like the snow's not planning to le on letting up, huh, Gribbit? It's actually snowing. Um... It's actually snowing now in life. I'm bored. Ugh, freezing my paws off, Gribbit. You don't have paws, you're a frog. What, you wanna know why I say Gribbit all the time? Look, I can't help it, I have to say something, right? Here, why don't you just think up something for me to say since you think you're so smart, Gribbit? Rudeness. You want me to say rudeness? That sounds lame. Well, no, hold on a minute. Rudeness. Actually, that's not too bad. I'll take it. Thanks, rudeness. <laughs> because you were so rude to me just when I logged, when I sh showed up today. So rude. Oh, hi, Custo. Yo, evening. Sup, wee oui, wee. Oui. The snow just doesn't show signs of stopping. Too bad I don't have any coin for popping, huh? <laughs> There's no place to go. Anyway, if we got some good accumulation tonight, I'm building a snowman tomorrow, wee wee. Oui, oui. So what can I do for you, Anon? What's up? Ah, listen, Anon. I just thought of the most amazing game. Yes, how it works. I buy your stuff, and you sell it to me. How's that, Anon? I'll do it. All right. I'll buy your classic carpet for 1,700 bells. That's cool, Anon. I actually was planning on selling that, so sure. Here you go. So what do you think, Anon? It's a pretty simple game, but it took me all night to think it up. I like that game. <laughs> Hello, Blathers. It's so very nice of you. Have a Terra Skull. Who? Who? I say a Terra Skull. 
The day the remaining pieces of our prehistoric puzzle are found will be a joyous one indeed. Good luck to you. Who? Again, I say who? Just look at this. Amber, stoutly preserving the pale reminders of our past. And this is quite a large, full-bodied specimen, eh? What smooth, exquisite, I'm reeling in awe. Amber is a form of tree resin which has hardened and been preserved in the Earth's crust for millions of years. Resin is produced as a defense against insects and disease. It seals wounds, allowing time, trees time to heal. Sometimes unlucky insects get caught in the resin, too. I wonder what's in your... What's in your amber? A fly? Perhaps a mosquito? Amber, you see, is a preservative of miraculous proficiency. Bits of amber are like miniature time capsules. Oh, mercy, what prattling! I must beg your pardon. I imagine you feel as though you've been captured in time. <laughs> what do you say if I try and give you something you already have? I mean, I'll probably see that when I get fish, but you know. Who now? Hmm, ah, yes. I believe Amber is already part of our collection. Yes, indeed it is. And the donating partnering is why it's you. You donated this yourself, Anon. Quite a hoot, that. Ah, uh, but this is a quality specimen. Yes, a lovely Amber. I'm more than a bit envious. If only I had the bows, I would purchase it from you in a mere blink of an eye. <laughs> in, the, in a mere eye blink. An eye blink, I tell you. It seems a shame to return this, but you must know space is limited. I look forward to your future donations. Good evening, Anon. It's awfully cold tonight, so you'll be careful not to stay out too long. So long you get sick, Lamb Chop. Now tell me, Anon, what did you want, Lamb Chop? What's up? Crazy Red's the guy who runs the furniture emporium. He seems nice enough, but I still don't trust him. You shouldn't. <laughs> he always looks so fake when he talks. I'm telling you, he's a crook, Lamb Chop. Anon, be careful if you ever shop there, Lamb Chop. I'll be careful. Oh. Ah. So exciting. Anyway, I'll probably do this off camera for the rest of the time that Tortimer is gone. Shouldn't be too hard. It's done. Doesn't take too long. I could just hop in. <gasps> Hello! Oop! Good evening. And unless I'm mistaken, pleased to meet you. I'm Liz. So what's your name? Anon? I like that grunch! He's cute. You know, call me crazy, but I get the feeling you and I are gonna be good friends, grunch! <laughs> Having a good night, grunch? So tell me, Anon, what did you want, Grunch? Ah, wouldn't you love to have a nice tartan rug in your room? I picked it up at Tom's shop the other day, but it clashes with my wallpaper, Grunch. I think I might go with your house. Though, do you want to trade your amber for it? No. Oh, I understand. Still, it's an awfully nice carpet. Thanks anyway. Maybe I'll figure out something else to do with it, Grunch. Do you have anything you need me to do? I don't want to head home. I'm so glad to see you. I have a little problem, and I think you can help me. Barbara dropped by to visit the other day. You just moved in. She couldn't have dropped by. She actually left behind a comic book. It would be such a big help if you could turn it to me. Am I asking too much, Grouch? Leave it to me. I know it's a lot of work, but I'm counting on you, Grouch. Oh, I'm so sorry. It, I know it seems like I never have time for you. I'm just so busy. Please forgive me. I forgive you. Don't worry. I'm just coming by to say hi because I'm so neighborly. Ah, my comic book. But this is rather odd. How did it come to be in your possession? Oh, really? Is that so? I left it at Liz's home, did I? Hmm. Well, you saved me the trouble of having to pick it up myself, darling. How very excellent. Do you already have a lot of different carpets? Because the only thing I have to give you right now is carpet. Okay. Well, I'm quite impressed at your performance. Perhaps I judged you too quickly. Thank you. She's so happy. To Spark, I had a crazy dream where you told me you hoarded all kinds of fruit. That's not true, right? Well, either way, I have some fruit for you. Maybe we could trade? To Gusto, I really liked your game. I was inspired to make my own. I call it Gift Swap. I send you a gift and you do the same. I look forward to it. 
Two Liz, welcome to Sparta. I wonder if you've had a chance to try our Sparta cherries. They're really good. Maybe you'd like to share something from your old home. Two Ward Jr., I didn't like how you spoke to me today, but I'm ready to tell you I'm not mad. Instead, I'm giving you a gift of friendship. I hope you accept. All right, that's enough letter writing for now. It takes forever to write letters in this game. And there's so many people. Which is ridiculous. So I think you can have like 15 villagers in this town in your town. It's ridiculous, man. Alright. I'm just gonna go around doing some routine stuff and I'll talk to you guys when something interesting happens. Hey, I got a barbell steed! That's funny, it looks more like a fish than a horse. Oh? I'm going to take this outfit to Barbara. See, if I'd found this uh, shopping. Well, it was all shopping. It was so cute that I just had to buy it for Barbara. I just forgot to deliver it. That's where you come in, Alon. Think you can handle it? Ooh, we got some, some crushes developing. Some love blooming. That's it. Just see her in. Don't let me down, Vivi. No more, Custo. I pick, I'm picking up what you're throwing down. Barbara! How are you cold? You're a sheep. You've got so much fluffy wool. This must be the outfit Custo was telling me about. Stay right there. You have to see this. Who was a cherry team? So what do you think? Don't I look great? Does it fit? But it's such a cute outfit. Why, why would you say that? Well, I just don't know why we even bother asking someone such awful taste. Don't you have something you could be doing? Why don't you go deliver something, Doc? But I like it! Also, oh, it's the, the purple tie-dye. Hmm. Yep. Alright. It's gonna be sunny today, for sure. At least that's what they said. And look at this, it, it totally ended up snowing. I am never believing that stupid weather forecast again, chickadee. <laughs> who, indeed, woohoo, a purple steed, I believe. You been running the mill kind fish are valuable resources you see are part of the grand tapestry. What? I think I've thrown care of this fellow. Oh yes, you can rest assured. Excellent care, indeed. Ugh. Barbara's just the center of attention today. Even if you need it back right away. It's a pain, lamb chop. I know it's sort of a hassle, but could you find it in your heart to go and get back get it back from me? Of course. I'll go get your picture back from mean old Barbara. I guess I do recall borrowing somebody's picture book. Oh, but I lent that to Piper quite a long time ago. Sorry, and all but it looks like you have to go see if Piper still has it. Have fun! <laughs> yes. <laughs> everyone's Piper has everyone's picture book. There she is. No, come here. Alright, there's Eunice's picture book. So white and boring, you're white! And Cousteau and just, just took that picture book from me with no explanation. Alright, I'll go see Cousteau. The wishing fountain. Alright. Doi, men of my skeleton brain. It was really hard me up big time if you could return into me. You are the best, Wee Wee. The best. Thanks for your love. Don't forget, Wee Wee. I have for you a picture book. No doubt about it. That's my picture book. Thanks, rudeness. Look, I want to thank you, so I'm giving you this furniture. Just take it, okay? Alright, thanks, Wart. 
I said this one last time. Thanks. If I have more stuff to do, I'll ask for your help. Be ready. Better and not so cold now. What are you doing still walking around, Lamb Chop? So you must have had some reason for coming to see me, right, Lamb Chop? Oh, I'm so glad to see you. I can't believe you found my picture book, Lamb Chop. You really are amazing, Anon. I can't let you go without giving you a little something. Here, this is my favorite kind of stationery, Lamb Chop. You know, I sure hope I can count on you whenever I need help in the future, Lamb Chop. Your favorite kind of stationery? What's that? Cloudy paper. Oh! Now that it's rollable, instead of just kickable, I have more control. Come on. Push it. Real. Good. Do, 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 do. Do 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 ha <laughs> It's huge <laughs> This is a snowball <laughs> It's a never ending snowball Alrighty we made it over the river Now we just need to get down here ish I've brought you too far for you, far for you to fall in the lake now. Where'd it go? <gasps> Did it fall in? No! Why are you so sad? Oh, did you say something? I'm sorry, but I have an awful lot on my mind. I'm afraid I'm feeling rather blue. I'm sad. I am actually kind of sad that I brought that snowball so far and then it just poof. I wanted to figure out if I could make a snowman. I guess I could have brought this one up to it, but whatever. Join your other half. You strange flappy boy. I spent way too long on that because it was it had just turned to the hour I'm pretty sure when I started doing that it's now <laughs> been four minutes not as bad as I thought it was for some reason I thought the date was the time I was like I spent fif 15 minutes doing that what Custo. The Game Boy. I'll bring it right back, but two years later, nada, absolutely pathetic. The more I think about it, the more worked up I get. Anyway, while I squash my rage, can you get it for me? Sure. Stop calling Yuna stinky. Custo and Yunus. A Piper came by the other day and snaked it. Piper is just a troublemaker, ain't she? <laughs> alright, alright, alright. I'll go get it from Lay. No problem. A watch to watch Junior. Let me do it. Mm. We don't have to go there anyway to give him back his Game Boy. I think that's what it was. Uh. Citrus wall. Yep, that's mine. You know, all these animals are lucky I'm here, otherwise so many of them would be reported to the police for thievery. Nope. <sighs> Eunice, you boob. Get back out here. Has your house changed? Bam, 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 bam. 
Let's chat. Have you heard of Crazy Red Furniture's Emporium, Lamb Chap? It's so loud in here. He sells ordinary furniture at extraordinary prices, but then again, some of the furniture he sells is really incredibly rare. Sometimes you just have to look really hard to find what you want, Lamb Chop. We'll have to be really careful tomorrow because I don't want to spend all my money. I don't have a lot. Because I'm giving you your Game Boy back. Don't be rude. I appreciate it, but no charity case, so here, take this. A thousand ninety-three bells? That's a lot of money. You give me that watch. And for you, your comic book. Oh, my comic book! You actually got it back for me a month? Thanks so much, darling. You must let me thank you. What will the stationery do? You might even use it to write to little old me. I'm quite impressed with your performance. Yeah, I guess I'll keep it. I'm running out of mu uh, paper for writing to the museum anyway. <laughs> it's like someone vomited Pepto Bismol in here. Help! Get me out! So what can I do for you, you not? Grouch? I have a watch for you. Of course it's pink. Wow, I'm so glad to see you. I can't believe you found my watch, Grouch. You really are amazing, you not? I can't let you go without giving you a little something. Here's my favorite kind of stationery, Grouch. That wasn't her voice. She somehow got Barbara's voice. Thanks to you, that took no time at all. I can't tell you how much I appreciate your help, Grouch. What kind of stationery did you give me? You both gave me ivy paper. You guys are the same person. <laughs> Ignoring the fact that one of those is an alligator and the other one's a sheep. Alright. There's another 4,000 bells. I'm almost done. Tomorrow night, those of you who have, who are, know anything about Animal Crossing, you should know what's coming up tomorrow night. Alright, I think that'll wrap it up for tonight. I might do some fishing, but just like not show it unless... Yeah, I don't know. We'll fig I'll figure something out. Maybe I'll fish, maybe I won't. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. And, uh... Tomorrow, we're gonna have a special little something happen. Hey, you dumb thing. What would you like to do? Save and quit. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you all in my next video. Bye, guys.